My Left Foot earned star Daniel Day-Lewis his first Best Actor Oscar in a very illustrious career and is a wonderful film about perseverance, acceptance, and overcoming personal hurdles to be understood. The film is the true, if moderately fictionalized, story of Christy Brown, an Irishman born with severe cerebral palsy. Using his left leg, the only limb he had full control over, Christy becomes an acclaimed painter and writer with the help of his supportive mother, Brenda Fricker, and therapist Eileen Cole, Fiona Shaw. First off, Daniel Day-Lewis's performance is astonishing. He infuses his role with just the right blend of melancholy, hope, dignity, and feisty attitude, and portrays every aspect of Christie's condition so perfectly that you almost believe Day-Lewis actually has cerebral palsy. This is therefore a tour de force of an actor emotionally and physically inhabiting a role. But just as much praise should be given to Hugh O'Connor, who plays Christie as a child. O'Connor's performance is equally as dedicated and compelling, and Day-Lewis graciously commended him during his Oscar acceptance speech. I shared Christie's life for a while with a remarkable young actor called Hugh O'Connor. My Left Foot, it must be said, feels like it was made before 1989, but not in a bad way. It's a slow, thoughtful film that spends most of its time allowing us to get to know Christie and follow his struggles and triumphs. My Left Foot is a low-key yet riveting film. Even so, the scene of Christie slowly, laboriously spelling out mother with a piece of chalk, thus finally making himself understood, is the most suspenseful scene I've watched in a long time. I apologize if it's patronizing to call My Left Foot a feel-good picture, but it is. This is a very uplifting film. Christie's debilitating condition, his dismissive father, and the woman who treats him like a retard make him immediately sympathetic, so it is immensely satisfying to see him learn to communicate, overcome his disability, and become a great artist. My Left Foot has major themes of proving yourself and even vindication to some extent, and is a very encouraging film for anyone affected by disability. But another thing I really like about this character study is its relative lack of bias. While it does gloss over or ignore some details of Christie's life, including his affair with his therapist, his alcoholism, and how abusive his wife Mary Carr apparently was, it still presents Christie as nuanced and flawed. Christie is a generally nice person, but he can be stubborn, rude, nosy, wrathful, and jealous, especially when he finds out that Eileen doesn't love him the way he loves her. This makes for very realistic characterization, but is also more considerate to Christy Brown's memory than if he was portrayed as a virtuous angel. Many disabled people are unfairly regarded by some bigots as somehow less than human, and part of being human is the fact that none of us are perfect, and there is good and bad in all of us. To quote the great Stephen Fry, who has endured bipolar disorder, a mental disability, for a long time, I'm proud to be who I am when I'm good. I'm ashamed to be who I am when I'm bad. Making Christie's character idealized and perfect would have, in a way, been just as dehumanizing as some of the other characters denouncing him as a dunce or cripple. By the way, it's nice to see that the children in Christie's town are quite friendly and inclusive toward him, even if they do treat him as a bit of a plaything early on, and this, and Peter's declaration that Christie is not a great crippled painter, but a great painter, period, support a theme of tolerance. My Left Foot is a great film. Daniel Day-Lewis's performance is remarkable, but the film is so much more than that, with strong performances from the rest of the cast, especially from Brenda Fricker and Hugh O'Connor, deep characterization, and an uplifting, compelling look into Christy Brown's fascinating life. My Left Foot earns five stars out of five. Thanks for watching. Cheers.